Hi guys, so just a tip on uh, multi-object printing. I'm doing actually really good. Um, it's printing six items real good. Try to place them uh, as close as possible together, obviously. And make sure you have a very stable surface. I've got this nice, um, not granite, but the quartz here. Um, and also uh, try to avoid putting things at the end because the heat, if you look at the heat map of Perusa printers, um, the heat sort of fades off right at the end and I've had issues where I was printing too much. And also I could print way more. I could print um, six, uh, almost 16 of these because these fit in the thing. Oh, maybe, maybe more actually. I could probably print almost, yeah, almost 16 at a time. But that would take almost two days. And if things go wrong, then, you know, I'm gonna be wasting a lot of filament. Um, so timing also has something important to do with it. Since I can check this like once a day, I found that if I print six, it takes around 24 hours. Uh, that's a better deal because I can check it every day, once a day, instead of every two days. Um, and also I'm not using the ends here so much, which could lead to failures over long prints. Um, also another thing you can do is use a enclosed spot. So I'm gonna actually move these printers in here into this closet room, I have a bunch of space. Um, you may wanna consider putting it in, you know, where the heat is maintained. Um, then you could totally use the ends more also. Uh, I might I might just try that. Sometimes I'm not in my office for more than a day or two. Um, if I wanna print, so next, next uh, project is I'm gonna move one of these into, or both of them into the closet and see if I can print um, uh, more of them more consistently but in this bathroom here that I'm using it just it's just bathroom <laughs> um, the problem really is it's sort of an open space even though it, it does get sort of heat up here uh, better if you can put it in an enclosed spot so that's the next thing I'm gonna do we'll see how that goes um, but yeah this is almost done it's now just printing my logo up here uh, Dr. E and these are basically foot rollers that you can use. The final product is gonna look like like that. It's got my logo. And it, it's a this one is a um, TPU material and you can massage um, your feet uh, various different ways. And I'm actually gonna test sell these here in South Korea. Um, it's kinda hard to ship them to the US on this if I print a bunch of them. Oh, but this thing feels really good. It's like you can, with TPU, you can really control um, the strength of the TPU using the infill. This is about 25%. And it's, it's very hard, even if you put your whole weight on it at 20%, but it's soft enough where it's gonna give you a much better roll than a hard plastic like PET G. Um, so you're able to roll this easily on, uh, very hard surfaces like these tiles here. It works out perfect. TPM material also, you know, it's not gonna break. You can, this is pretty much not breakable. Um, so pretty awesome product that I'm making here. <laughs> but I'm printing these, again, six at a time. I'm trying to utilize the center of the Perusa printer. Uh, I got these ones also printing. So yeah, that's it for today. But. This is what I've been working on. I've got three Perusa printers. I've got a clone um, that some Chinese company sent me, so I'm gonna try making a clone also. And I've, I've still gotta finish up my Voron, but it's just been a pain in the ass. But anyway, have a great day, folks.